That was uh, Tony Braxton, You're Making Me High. So Jasmine alluded to this earlier. Uh, the conditions in Puerto Rico remain dire. There are about 3.4 million who are virtually without electrical power and uh, food and drinking water are very scarce. Our brothers and sisters, our brethren, our American citizens are suffering. Uh, but there's an act called the Merchant Marine Act of 1920, and it's also known as the Joan Act, that requires shipments between U.S. ports be carried out exclusively by vessels built and operated in the Americas. Now, what this does is prevent Puerto Ricans uh, from receiving shipments from the continental U.S. aboard foreign sh ships. ships. So uh, even though those ships may be cheaper and faster, what is interesting is while the president was tweeting and going back and forth with the NFL about these protests, which is only to shore up his uh, demented base, uh, the Trump administration ruled out temporarily, just temporarily, setting aside the Jones Act, even though the government had waived those very rules for Florida and Texas until last week. Now, um, after the uh, DHS, the Department of Homeland Security, denied the request of eight U.S. representatives to waive the Jones Act, McCain stepped in, urging the department to reconsider. So we can, I'll tell you this again, there's an act that's preventing our brothers and sisters from getting the help that we need. We, they, they, they're, they're not uh, strangers, they're not foreigners. They fight in our wars, they pay our taxes, they gave us J-Lo, so it, it, this is urgent. And rather, uh, the same thing they did for Texas and Florida, they're not willing to do now. The same act they suspended for those, they're not willing to do now. Now, I asked you why that is. And I would submit that it's because they, it is an island for the poor black and brown people. That he's obviously confusing for people that aren't American citizens, and they very much, much are. While you were running around telling us what protests and who should fire who and what is an American, it is un-American to leave our brothers and sisters out here drowning. While you're worrying about football players kneeling there up to their knees in water, you're playing president. And if you're going to play compassionate, when you flew your ass down there to, to see the people in Texas so you would look presidential, and Florida so you look presidential, you're coming to, uh, to uh, Puerto Ricans 13 days later. 13 days later, you're coming to visit them to say hi, but not bringing them the help they need. With a wave of the pen that you seem to love to sign. If Obama had signed this act uh, into law, you would repeal it, and it would be waived already. Use that pen that you use to roll back dumb things that harm us and help the brothers and sisters who are oh, our brethren in trouble. Help them. Instead, you, you war with the NFL about who should play and what's an American. It is un-American to leave them stranded like this. Why, they, you're talking about kneeling there up to their knees in water. I'll tell you what, Mr. Trump, let's do this. Let's pretend like they are, uh, the, the, like they're Colin Kaepernick. Well, they have them all put on uh, a Colin Kaepernick number seven jersey. And instead of kneeling on the football field, uh, kneeling in water, dirty water, they're kneeling on the football field. Then you would pay attention. If you're going to play president for, for uh, uh, Texas and Florida and you're going to act for compassionate for them, pretend at least that you give a shit about people that look uh, like us. Pretend at least that. They are our brothers and sisters, not a land full of foreign people. They pay their taxes, they go to war, they have bled for us, and they deserve what everybody else gets. Puerto Rico strong too. It ain't just Texas strong. It ain't just Florida strong. Puerto Ricans in the Bronx are not the ones who are in trouble. These are, and they are brothers and sisters. While you argue on Twitter about who's an American and who ain't, nothing is less American than leaving one of us behind. Mm -hmm. All right, that's a little note from the GED section. We've got the Jazz Report. That'll be up in 15 minutes. It's the D.L. Hughley Show.